Hello friends and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a super chill active wear haul and then I'm going to show you a workout at the end. If you guys have been watching my vlogs for a little while, you would know that I really, really enjoy working out. I love moving my body. It always makes me feel so much better physically and especially mentally. My neighbor's dog won't stop barking and I'm this close to losing my mind. You guys are always asking for more gym related content, which honestly makes me really happy. And I picked up some new active wear pieces recently. So I thought that I would give you a haul, show you what I got, and then I'll show you me working out in one of the outfits that I show you. The activewear company do you even was kind enough to send me some items to show you in today's video but all opinions are my own and not being paid to say anything nice and I'm always honest with you guys so let's just jump into this haul. I'm honestly really excited. First up we have this pair of leggings. All the tights I show you today are seamless. I think they might be full length or like seven slash eight length. I don't know the proper terms but they're full length. I roll them up at the bottom just a little bit because I really like the look of just like a little bit cuffed but not like three quarter length if you know what I mean but these tights are super stretchy super high waisted they've got the cute little logo here in the corner and they're this beautiful pink rose color I love the color of these so much she even has such a large range of colorful tights and sports bras and stuff I only really own black tights so I was so excited to add some color to my collection so this is the first pair of tights I picked up I also picked up this cutie little pink t-shirt how cute is this color? Oh my goodness. I honestly really like that it's also a little bit see-through because I love when you can see like the color of the sports bra through the t-shirt. I feel like that's super cute. It's got little cuffed sleeves. It's got the Do You Even logo here as well. And it's just really cute, really light and breezy. Very comfy and very cute, which is all you can ask for in active wear, really. I picked up another pair of colorful tights. These are exactly the same as the pink ones that I showed you, but in this beautiful, like active aqua teal color. Is this color not the most beautiful color you've ever seen in your entire life? I love this color so much, especially with a tan. I feel like it would just look so, so good. I think I'm going to wear this to the gym tonight. I think. I don't know, but I think. <laughs> they also have the Do You Even logo just down the bottom, which I think is really cute. I really like it when brands have their logo just really little in like a couple of places on the pieces. I think it's really cool. I also picked up another pink shirt because I like pink a lot, if you can't tell. <laughs> How cute is this top? I wore this top in one of my Instagram stories the other day and you guys went crazy asking me where this is from. It is a tight cropped long sleeve workout top. I honestly really like long sleeve workout tops. I have one from K out that's obviously much like worse quality than this one and I wear it way more than I ever thought I would it is a little bit tighter than I would have expected but because the shirt is meant to be tight I think it's still like doable and I can still pull it off I think I also picked up a set I love matching sets so much I just think it makes working out so much more fun so these tights again are exactly the same style as the rose and teal ones I just showed you but they are gray and then they panel into a light gray and then like peach orangey color which I think is so cute this style comes in like a bunch of different colors down the bottom I think there's like a pink and maybe a green maybe but you can't really go wrong with a pair of basic gray tights and then it just makes it a little bit more fun having some color down the bottom and then I picked up this matching sports bra to go with it which I really really like I love the cutout hole at the back I think that is so cool and honestly if you're wearing an open back singlet which I have to show you next it's very very breezy having the nice big hole at the back and this material is just so stretchy it is so comfy and last but not least i picked up a open back singlet which honestly i think is one of my favorite things from this haul which is probably disappointing because it's like probably the most boring plain piece i have to show you in this haul but i'm a basic gal what can i say <laughs> so it's just this plain black singlet i feel like black is really really hard to see on camera obviously you'll see it on the try on portion and also i think i'm gonna wear this to the gym tonight <laughs> again just like the pink t-shirt i showed you it is a little bit see through which i really like it's got a high neck as well which i really appreciate i don't need to be worrying about the scoop of my singlet while i'm working out you know it also doesn't have really really big armholes which is really nice and i think it's really flattering that way and the back is my favorite so i don't know if you can see that but it has a massive hole at the back and it just joins together here the back two pieces just kind of like fly open you can leave them open or you can tie them up in like a knot i really really like that you can just switch it to whatever makes you feel comfortable and 
honestly depending on the workout is depending how I would tie the shirt but I really really love this top again has a little do you even logo there and also has a little silver circle on the back that says do you even as well if you're wondering I did get everything in a size large but I will have everything from do you even linked down below along with like my sizing and colors and everything like that it is currently 7 30 in the morning and I have to go to work for the rest of the day but when I come home from work I'm gonna be getting into one of these outfits and going to the gym I have no idea what circuit I'm gonna do yet but I'm gonna like make my own circuit in like a space at the gym and bring you along for a workout I've been wanting to film one of these videos for so long so I'm really excited I'm gonna show you like my full workout what I do before after during all of it and of course show you my outfit as well so I'm gonna go to work and in like 2.5 seconds for you I'm gonna see you at the gym so I wrote up three separate rounds. I have four exercises in each circuit. I do each of them for 45 seconds and then I have a 10 second break. So I don't know if that was a very good explanation, but I feel like you might be able to see what I'm doing here anyway. So the first circuit was based around arms. So I had four exercises. The first one being push-ups. One day I will eventually be able to do them on my toes, but for now my knees will do. I just always try to make sure that my arms go to a 90 degree angle at the bottom. The second exercise in the first circuit is bicep curls. Pretty straightforward. You can see exactly how I'm doing them here. I just try to keep my elbows in at my side. I try not to let them fly around everywhere. I do want to just make a quick disclaimer that I am no professional. I do have a PT who I work out with most of the time and he corrects me on my form every day and I'm just always trying to improve. So if you have any issues with my form, I know I am not perfect, um, but I'm working on it. The next exercise in this circuit is shoulder presses. I love shoulder presses so much. I don't know why, but I just really enjoy pushing them up. That sounds so stupid. Again, I do this for 45 seconds and then move on to the next exercise, which is called a bus driver, I think. This, that's what my PT calls it. I don't really know the technical term, but you just pick a weight of your choice and just hold it like you are holding a steering wheel almost and like you're driving a bus. It's pretty straightforward. Try to keep the weight at um, eye level. This actually really, really burns like a lot. So enjoy that one. So I will do that arm circuit three times over and now we're moving on to the second circuit, which is legs. I'm starting off with speed squats. I love doing speed squats. I just think it's so fun to like see how many I can do in 45 seconds. That makes me sound kind of crazy. And then I'm moving into doing some walking lunges. I hate lunges and I know that my form is not really good. Even watching this video back, I'm like, okay, wow, I can like really see where I need to improve. Um, I have very weak knees, so <laughs> bear with me while I'm doing some lunges. But next up, I have some box jumps. I, apparently, I'm just giving you a description of what I do and don't like at the gym, but I love box jumps. If you haven't box jumped before, I would definitely recommend just giving it a go. As you can see, was clearly over the box jumps by the end of it. So we're moving into some burpees. Burpees are a love-hate relationship, I think. I like them most of the time, but sometimes they're not it. Wow, this commentary for me is just 10 out of 10. I'm glad you subscribed for this quality content. But anyway, that is the leg circuit done and we're moving on to the ab circuit. So I started off with doing leg raises. Again, I'm no expert. I know my form is so off even looking at this. I thought in my head that my posture was good, but it's clearly not. Um, my PT trainer always tells me to keep my lower back on the ground and to have my rib cage off the ground, but have my neck relaxed. And I honestly just can't figure out how to do that. So that was my attempt at trying to do that. But anyway, moving on, we're doing some Russian twists. You just grab a weight of your choice and bring it side to side with your legs in the air. Just kind of like a V sit, but holding a weight at the same time.
Moving on to a plank. Again, we're doing 45 seconds at each exercise. So I'm holding my plank for 45 seconds. Again, sorry, I know my technique is not good. I know that my form is not good right now, but it was still working my abs, which I guess is the main thing, but I needed to bring my lower back up a little bit and make sure my shoulders were uh, pressed back. But anyway, the last exercise in my ab circuit is an up-down plank. I don't know actually what this is called, but an up-down plank pretty much describes what it is. You're just doing a plank, but moving from your elbows to your wrists. This is really, really hard. And the whole point of it is you're not meant to be moving your hips, which I find really, really difficult if you can't tell because my hips are just swaying around but yeah that's the end of my ab circuit and that's the end of my workout i will do each round three times and it tends to be a 30 to 45 minute workout i am now home from the gym i really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me if you want to see more workout related videos please let me know it's definitely something that i've never done before but it's also such a big part of my life so i would love to bring you guys along if you're interested but for now give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already just a quick thank you to do you even for gifting me with this activewear this video isn't sponsored all opinions are my own but very thankful that they gifted me some really cute activewear i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i'll catch you in my next video in the very near future Bye.